Hey everyone, welcome to another transformation video. This, of course, is the MPG04 Suiken. We're gonna go if I go take them from train to robot to combined mode and back to train. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing you want to do here is right here at this seam line, you want to go ahead and untab it right here and just like that and just untab that. There's hook tabs at the top, so you gotta do that, take that and put that off to the side for now. We don't need it for now. Now, this, the back two thirds of the train, what you want to do here is take these this this vent system and just unpeg it from the top and just move it up like that. And then right here, what you want to do is along this seam line, you want to bring these back, unhook those tabs, and that kind of frees us up enough so that you can get these unhooked. That. Get these bits unhooked and bring this back like that. And same on the side, unhook that and bring it back like that. Straighten all that back out too. And then right here, what you want to do is take these uh, roof pieces and then just fold those down like so and then collapse these against the side of the train like that. And then down here, what you want to do is go make sure to split this stuff and then split the whole back end like that. Just split it all up like that. Spread out the, the this so you have room to work. Uh, but down here, what you want to do is uh, then take this piece and move it down and back like that. Open this, unpeg this and open this up, remove this out and then bring this leg out, slide this part down. And this, you want to make sure this is an, this gray piece right here is at an angle. If you'll see, there's a peg hole right there. That's going to go into this peg right here. So I'm going to angle it all correctly like that. And then close this back up like so. Peg that back in right there. Pulls nice and straightened out. Down here, you want to go ahead and bring this back part of the train, you want to slide this down, kind of on a weird slider joint thing, you want to bring the foot, the toe down right here, like that. This piece right here on this side, you want to go ahead and rotate this around, get it out of the way, and then right here, the bit with the door on it, you want to rotate that up, like so. Get that out of the way, and there you go. You take this piece right here and just rotate this inward like that, and that's one leg done. And the side same, pretty much the same thing. Let's bring this the tr uh, wheels back like that. Unpeg this. Bring this. Yeah, bring the leg out a bit. Want to bring the leg out? Extend it out. So, you know, there's that slider. You want to slide it down and get this at the right angle. So again, you can peg and hole. Get those lined up. So, peg it back together. Make sure that's all straightened out. And the feet again. Slide it down. Bring out the toe. Fold this piece up like so. And of course, take this piece and fold that in like that. And then you go ahead and bring the legs down. And that's pretty much the lower half done. And up here, what you want to do is. You want to untab the sides of the train from the arms. Just untab those. So. Also, take, this, take these slider pieces and slide those down. Could also help by angling this out slightly and sliding it down like that. So yeah, those are on. These are untabbed. And then right here, there's a couple hinges right in here. You want to go ahead and get the pieces up on those hinges you can see right there there's hinges right there you want to bring them up on the hinges there's multiple hinges in there you just want to bring them up like that just get those get them positioned more or less like that so it looks like this you go ahead and split it in half and bring them out to the sides like that so from here you want to go ahead and straighten out the arms straighten out the arms then you can take each piece, you know, break this out like that. Rotate this up and in, and then rotate this piece up, and then go ahead and bring it back down. And there's a little uh, hinge right here you can bring it out on like that. In the arm here, you can see there's another hinge right here. You want to rotate it up like this, and then right here there's this hinge. You want to bring it down on that hinge. And this will kind of won't lock in, but this will kind of slot. This will kind of just slide into right here and just kind of nestle into that little like little groove right there, like so. That same thing on this side. Bring this out. Rotate this piece in. 
Hold this up too, bring it back down. Rotate it on this little gray hinge right here. Rotate it on this hinge and then bring it down and kind of nestle into place right there. Then these pieces, what you want to do is angle these forward about 45 degrees or so and then bring these forward. They'll kind of rest on these pieces like that. Oops, I'll drop it. <laughs> and then same thing here, about 45 degrees, nestle it forward like that. Here at the head, you want to, there's a little slider piece you want to, under the head, you want to slide that forward. It'll kind of click into place. You're going to open that up, unfold that. Close that back up and rotate it at the bicep. Same thing. Open up this panel. Rotate the fist out. Like so. Close the panel. And rotate at the bicep. Like so. And then right here you want to take the chest pieces. And they will slide out like that. Make sure that's all slid down too. Yeah, slide out like that. And uh, that's most of the robot done. You could be done right now if you just don't want to deal with backpack stuff. But the backpack is part of the robot. So we'll go ahead and... Put them off the side real quick, just to focus on this part. Now, so that's also pretty simple right here. What you want to do is um, untab these and fold those out. Split the wheels right there. And then you go ahead and bring this tab, bunch of tabs on each side. There's a bunch of tabs along this, this groove right here. You want to go ahead and bring it up a bit so you can clear all that and bring this out like so. Take this piece and just slide it out. Put that off the side for now. Right here at this, there's a little rivet here. You want to go ahead and extend that, rotate that around, and then slide it back down like that. Same thing. You can see, slide that, rotate this around, slide it back down like that. Then these pieces, you want to go ahead and just kind of bring them back like this a bit. Seeing at a bit of an angle, it'll look like that. Now up here at the train, what you want to go, the front train front, you want to go ahead and uh, bring this up like so. Bring it up like that, that, and also fold this part away like that. Now there's a little, this is all in a big old gray armature. You want to take that gray armature and it's gonna, you want to rotate it back. You can see it comes out like that. Rotate the back and bring this all the way down like that. And then yeah, also adjust the angles of this stuff as necessary because so it's all clear, it's like that. And this piece right here, this is this this little armature right here. There's a little peg right up in there, right there, which will go into this thing right here in the gun. Just peg in right there. Just bring it down, pin the gun, and then bring this forward like that, like so. And then you can take this this gun piece and you can tap it in however you want, either in this slot or this slot using this tab right here and just tab that in like that. Then you take this peg and port this peg right here and this little tab and these will go into the back right here. You kind of get this tab up and underneath into this slot right here and the peg will go into that hole and you make sure to click it all the way in. Like that, that is not clicked all the way in. You have to keep pushing until it clicks. Like that, there you go, it clicks in and there you go. That's the complete. Oh, uh, so you can. So yeah, not too bad, but um, going from this to combined mode is also not too a part either. First, first thing again, just go ahead and take this backpack and unpeg it and put it off the side. We'll come back to it later. Now what you want to do here is take the, take these, move these forward so you can open up these panels and rotate the fists back in and strain those back out like that. Take these and open that up, rotate the fist in, close that back up and get that all straightened out like so. And you could also, well, since they're going to probably do it on you anyway, uh, go ahead and take these uh, panels and slide them back in like that and take the head and slide it back right there. And down here at the legs, what you want to do real quick is take these gray pieces, uh, light gray pieces, and bring them back out like so, like so. and take the feet and just slide those up like that if they haven't already just make sure to slide them back up like that then one last thing you're gonna do is uh take these uh door panels and bring them back out like that bring them out like that and then go ahead and take the legs and then tap them together like so and like so 
bring it all together like that and uh, you're done with the lower body for the most part now up here what you want to do is uh, straighten these panels back out and bring those back straighten those out and bring that out like that get these out of the way so just go ahead and uh, get those get those forward and out of the way the, the arms forward out of the way take these panels right here and bring them out to the side like that and this right here you want this is on the slide you want to slide this back rotate it around and then slide it back in all the way in like that and then rotate the fist around like that and since you got this stuff opened up what you want to do here you see this you want to bring this the arms out and rotate right here like this you want to rotate the, on this this hinge right here you want to rotate here on this hinge and then this hinge you want to bring it down and in like this there and then also take this piece open that up again open this up and then on this hinge bring it around and then bring it back down and that will just sit like that let's keep it like this for now right this side go ahead and uh the arms get that up like that bring that out bring that up bring that out and then rotate on that hinge right here i want to rotate on this hinge right here rotate that around rotate that around right there bring that around on that hinge and bring it down right there and kind of leave it like that and it's, these are gonna pinch the slot it now down here at the arms you also want to rotate them 90 degrees like this like that the rigid side is going to face the back and there's a tab right here an arm you want to go ahead and tab the arms together like that make sure to bring it all the way in right at this point and then you can close these up here and then this part Go ahead and tab these together as well. This side but it's a fight sometimes. There we go, get those all tabbed together. And then right here, use these hinges here to bring this down and bring it completely down like this. Like that. Like this, and then this will fold in like that. This will just kind of just, it doesn't hook in or tab in or anything. It just kind of sits right there like that. It's going to, yes, it will set an angle. Don't worry. It, it's, it's fine. And now then this part right here, you want to go ahead and take this, the, the knees and just bring it down like that. And right here, these little panels, you got to get something underneath and bring these out. And in the process, unfortunately, you probably might untab the back end of the train because it's like that. And bring these out like that. Tab that all together if it came loose. Minded. That. And then you go ahead and bring this panel up so it can clear and there you go. That's the arm part. Now I'm putting that off to the side because we're going to do this part. Go ahead and untab this gun. Right there. What you want to do here is bring this back up. This will, you know, on this on this armature, you want to close that back up and bring this up and close this up and make sure this stays folded up. It's going to stay folded up and tap this, you know, front of the train tabs and right there. Now here, what you want to do is on this is a double hinge right here. You want to go ahead and fold it like that on that hinge first, so you have room to get this pushed in and fold it away and then fold it the rest of the way in the double hinge like that. And then you go ahead and take these there's tabs right here which will go into slots right here. Just tab those in, just fold them and tab them in. Go ahead and bring this down like that. So, and then take this gun, extend it out and then use these tabs on the side here to go in these slots and make sure the tab part here goes out like this. So it looks like that. And uh, that's the lower part. And with that done, you have the arm and the um, 
Rocket pod? Missile pod? Let's call it that. All done. Pretty straightforward. Now, going back to train from here. Again, pretty simple. Going to put that off the side and focus on this. Go ahead and we'll straighten that out. Close this up. Uh, take these pieces. Fold those back away. It's like click into place. Like that. Click. Bring that up like so. Go ahead and just, at this point, just separate the legs. Just Separate the legs like that, right there. Separate that, like, yeah. Take this and, uh, of course, take this piece and fold that back up. And then take these pieces and fold those back up. Go ahead and split that right here. I'm gonna split those and untab the arms from each other. So we gotta get them out of the way. And go ahead and get those forward. Bring those, just get those full, brought forward like this. Hinge and yeah, these hinges you see the yeah, just get those brought forward. Open these panels up right here, rotate the fist around 180, slide this back out, rotate it back around, slide it back forward, and then close these back up like so, like that. Now, here, what you need to do is uh, get these out like this. Bring this up on this hinge like so. Bring it out like this. Bring it up on this hinge like so. Like this. And then fold at the elbow or rotate the elbow like that. Get those right there correctly. And then go ahead and bring these, rotate these back in. Like so. Let's see. This hinge right there. So you see the looks like this. And you go ahead and tab the arms back together like that. And then here you can go ahead and bring these and tab these back together as well. This part can be a little tricky because it fights me a lot. Fight, I've noticed my um, experience this part fights me a bit. So these hinges you're going to have to flatten these back down. And sometimes it does not want to do that, it just wants to not flatten properly. Yeah, flatten those hinges back down. And then, right here, there's the tabs right here on the sides of the, oops, tabs right here on the sides, which will go into these little slots on the arms. Make sure that's all lined up. Tabs in. This is the part where it fights me a bit often and doesn't want to actually tab in or anything. Right there, tab that in. This part, get that all tabbed in. This one's a little easier because you can actually see what you're doing because you can open that up. Tab that in. Tab that all in like that. You go ahead and take these and uh, Take these pieces and slide them forward. And slide forward like that. Now I'll line up. Right now. Go ahead and you know spread out the legs a bit. So again, you can come back here. Go ahead and yeah, this put right here. You want to go ahead and uh, rotate the toe back in and make sure it's all slid back in like that. Take this panel, open that up, take the leg here, it's a slider, you want to slide that up and then bring this around and this will collapse the knee. See, that, make sure this collapses properly into there, like that. And you can close this back up and peg it back in, like that. And take this part right here and bring that back forward like that. Same thing on this side, this should stay out, stay out like that. Bring this part out too. Make sure the foot is everything collapsed up like that. So toe, rotate the toe up. Bring that up out. And use the slider to you know, slide that up. Rotate that around and rotate that around and close it all up like that. Then close this up right here. Close that all up and then of course bring this part 
and bring that forward like that. Bring the legs together. Make sure this is all squared away. Tab this all together like that. I'll go ahead and bring, bring these up from forward like that and bring out the roof piece. Bring this forward, bring out the roof piece. Bring that at an angle so then you can bring these these in like so and like so bring those in and then go ahead and push it all together push that all together take these pieces and then they'll repeg those in like that and that's the rear two-thirds of the train all back together put that out the side again once again, focus on this part, collapse that in and pull that out, untab these side pieces right here. So go ahead and then unfold it, you know, fold up this hinge right there. So then you have clearance to push this back through right there. So it's on top like that and then go ahead and bring that down, unfold this or untab this so you can bring this forward and also fold this up like that and then close that back up. So now here, what you want to do is of course, uh, take these, the wheel pieces and slide them right there, rotate the back around and then slide it back down again, slide it up, rotate it around and slide it back down. I'm going to take this, the gun piece right here and make sure again to slide in these, use these tabs right here on the, on the sides and slide it in to this spot. Again, tab down apparently, and then go ahead and bring this, bring these down on each side, make sure to get all the tabs lined up properly and feed it in such a way that you, you know, all the tabs line up like that. And then go ahead and make sure to you know, squeeze that together. And then you can go ahead and close this up. Unless you want to do the weapon storage thing, which I covered in the review. Close that up like that. And then finally, take these pieces and hook those ta these tabs at the top underneath. And bring these tabs in like that. Good squeeze. And there you go. That is train mode again and we've done the full cycle so there you go i hope this is helpful in any way um hope you check out the review and i shall see you there